Alright, welcome everyone. That was a very long intro into Chrono Trigger, but this is quite possibly one of my favorite games of all time, and we're going to play through it together. It's been quite a while since I've played this game, but uh, I think we're going to be able to figure it out pretty easily. I actually don't know what my LB and RB buttons are. I'm going to guess that they are Q and W. Sure. On the keyboard. Uh, battle mode active is fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Original graphics versus high resolution graphics. We can change whichever one we want. Um, I'm going to go with... Can I change this later on? I'm going to take high res just because this game came out when Super Nintendos were still big. And I'm guessing that the newer resolutions are going to be a little bit better for newer systems. Hopefully, anyways. We'll find out. Uh, Chrono's fine. We're going to use default names, not two. <laughs> you can only use five characters. That is pretty amazing. Chrono is correct. Don't write. Enter is not the right button. Oh yeah, look at those. Gorgeous pixelated graphics. Chrono. Chrono. Chrono, are you still sleeping? Yes. Come on, sleepyhead. It's time to get up. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. Does it not ring very often? You must have been so excited about the Millennial Fair that you couldn't sleep last night, could you? Well, you better not let that giddiness get you into trouble. I want you to behave yourself today. Come on now, out of bed with you. So it does look like the graphics are a tiny bit sharper in terms of the character models, but the backgrounds look pretty true to form. And I can't remember if there's anything around to grab in here. We can close our blinds if we want to. It's about time. By the way, you're going to see... Oh dear, what was her name? The young adventurous friend of yours. Luca! That's right, Luca. You're gonna stop by and see her new invention at the fair, aren't you? Yeah, we sure are. Well, we'll run along then. I'll be back before dinner. That is guaranteed not gonna happen. Hey, where's my allowance money? I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. 200 G's. I don't think there's anything else to grab in here. No. Let us head out into the community. So we're not gonna go to the fair quite yet. We're gonna just look around and talk to people. That girl Luca was over in the square going on about how she made the discovery of a lifetime. Also true. That is something we're gonna deal with very shortly. Something tells me I'm as happy now as I'll ever be. Don't say that. You should always be aiming to be more happy. There is a market here. Visit our stall in Lean Square. That we can't do anything with? I think it's the same market. Another residence. It's hard to believe our kingdom has stood for a thousand years now. Our king is the 33rd descendant to the throne of Guardia. It's a miracle he can manage to rule the kingdom when he can't even keep his own daughter in hand. She's probably throwing a fit at the castle this very moment, demanding he let her go to the fair. Why wouldn't the ruler go to the fair? That seems like something a leader should do is, you know, go do the same sort of things that their people do. That's just strong leadership. There is an inn here. We can go and uh, rest here if we want to, but we're not going to go here very much. Oh, I should probably talk to her. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. I suppose you won't be staying long, though. Oh, I hope my shift ends soon, so I want to go to the fair, too. Say, can you spare ten gold to buy me a drink? Sorry. You been to the fair yet? Yes. Incredible, isn't it? The shops, the events, I've never seen a festival like it. Been to the fair yet? No! What? What are you doing here, then? You have to wait for another thousand years for another millennial fair. The festivities are in Lean Square, just up north. More tents and stalls than you can shake a stick at. I like how we lied to him the first time, and then... Uh, so these things... 
This box has been handed down for generations. Should you somehow manage to open it, you are welcome to the contents. A mysterious force seals it shut. Those are special boxes. We will be coming and looking for those later on in the game. Much later on in the game, I might add. So, we're not going to be worried too, too much about those just yet. We can go to the Mayor's Manor. Hello, is it your first visit? Would you like me to tell you about this house? Sure. Our mayor has a soft spot for adventurers. He's established this manor as a library of adventuring know-how. The contents of the chest in this house were placed by him for adventurers to use. Feel free to take anything you'd like. You can run by using the directional buttons and hold down B if you want to walk. You can switch the run and walk commands from the movement option in the settings menu. I can teach you about weapons and armor. No, I don't need to know that. I'm good. We got a potion, which we can sell. Shelters are quite useful. Do you know about them? Yes. Yes, I do. Excuse me, everyone. Just gonna grab this thing here. 100 gold. Want me to share some insight? Not particularly, no. Shall I teach you the basics of battle commands? Maybe later. I already know all this stuff. Want to learn about the types of status ailments? Nope. Hold LB and RB to escape from battle. I gotta figure out what those commands are. I don't need you to explain this. Let me leave. <laughs> Just like... He's still talking as I'm running away. Oh, you're a save point guy. Scattered throughout the world are points where time's memory is deeply rooted. You can record the progress of your adventures at such places, fraught with danger as they may be. That's one right there. You can also save on the main screen. Like in the world here. If I knew what the ma or menu button was. So that is map. Is that also map? Yes. So that must be L and R. What is menu? There is menu. Gotta learn all the commands here. Might as well have a save point. Just in case. Um, so we can go do things like fight in Guardia Forest a little bit if we want to. We are using a... What I believe is just a wooden sword at the moment. Oh, I gotta switch those buttons around. That's gonna drive me insane. Yeah, we have garbage equipment. But we might be able to fight some tough. We might also die. Who knows? Oh no, we'll be fine. So there are a couple ways you can go about getting a weapon in the game. An early game weapon that's really good. It's called a load sword. Also possibly a silver sword, depending on which version of the game this is. Um, one way is you can go fight Gato. He's a robot. And you get silver points for defeating him, and then you trade those silver points in for money. The other way is you fight monsters out here in the world. And, uh, eventually you'll get enough money that way as well. It's a tough call which way you want to do it. Oh, there's a lot of bugs. I've done it both ways. Um, I mean, I don't think one is particularly faster than the other. Gato is easier, though, because you can eat the lunch at the fair, which lets you, um, heal up, and you don't need to, like, go into town or anything. We also learned Cyclone. There is positional aiming in this game, a little bit, for some of the abilities, like Cyclone, for example. Like, those two couldn't be Cyclone, but they're not close enough together. But uh, if you have a bunch of grouped up enemies, Cyclone's really powerful. We also gained a level. These ones might be able to Cyclone a little bit easier. I'll see. So you can see there's a flashy thing that means both of those can be hit. And we're gonna do that. And that should kill both of those. And then we just have one enemy left. So yeah, the big thing is you have to be kind of careful what you're aiming at. I might change this to wait mode because it's a little bit easier to show you guys things uh, without being counterattacked a lot. Also, you get a lot of potions fighting in this forest, which are good because you can sell them for extra money to buy that sword. You might have to leave the forest and come back a couple times because enemies do reset. How much is the end to stay at? I can't remember. 10 gold. That's not bad. We're going to try to... There's a, a point in the game where we're going to be on trial. We're going to try our very best not to be on trial by not doing stupid things. 
Or, well, we'll always be in trouble, but not being found guilty, I guess I should say. I've actually never managed to not be guilty, so I'm gonna try my very best this time to not be guilty. I got close once to being not guilty. It doesn't change anything about the game, mind you. I don't think. But it's just fun. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I guess we're already 10 minutes in because that first cutscene took very a long time, it was like 3 minutes long for that intro. But uh, I'm just gonna do some fighting for a little bit, we're gonna gain some levels and we're going to get the silver or load sword. I think I'm just gonna do the fighting out here in the forest, we'll get some levels. And uh, potions we can sell, I think they're worth a bit each. We're also gonna use the strength capsule, it permanently raises strength by 1, it's worth it. Especially in the beginning part of the game, that is a 17% increase over the strength that we had before. So yeah, I'll be back shortly and we'll continue on with our adventure. Oh wait, I'm gonna see if I can do a really good cyclone here. Yes, look at this. So if you target... Oh, I wish they were moving. There we go. We hit all three of them. Alright, so there we go. A little bit of knowledge on how to do cyclones, I guess. I'll be back shortly though as soon as we get some more money and experience. Alright, we have done a little bit of grinding, which I'm going to show you guys as soon as we go to Lean Square. Uh, this is the actual festival that we're supposed to be going and looking around at, but we're going to talk to Melkor first. Melkor, the swordsmith at your service, might I interest you in one of my fine blades? I'm going to take a look. There is exactly one sword in this game where we want to buy from this guy. Well, that's not entirely true, but for now. It is true enough. We're going to buy the silver sword. It's going to cost us all of our money, which we've saved up for. I live on the continent to the east. Come and see me if you ever have the need. Also, I'm going to quickly uh, take a look at his inventory and just sell a couple of potions, which we have 48 of them. We're just going to get a tiny bit of money, just so we're not dead broke, although it's not going to matter too much. Uh, we're now going to equip that sword on Chrono. And there we go, and now we have 29 attack power. It's a pretty significant improvement for the beginning of the game. We're also now level 7. Uh, we have 18 MP. We have a couple of techs, specifically Cyclone, which you've seen before, and Wind Slash. And now it's time to actually explore the festival. So, uh, we can also buy a padded vest and bronze helmet, but we can't because we have no money. I'm just going to move my mouse. We can get potions, panaceas, panacea, whatever they are, Athenian water, and shelter. Those runners are busy racing, so they won't answer you if you talk to them. Line up with the bell and press the button when you're ready. Judge your distance carefully. Press X once more. I did it. Way to go. I put one silver point on your card. That is practically worthless. The kingdom's been through some hard times, like the war against the Fiend Lord 400 years ago. You should be thankful things are so peaceful now. Well, that is also probably true. There was a big war hundreds of years ago against the Fiend Lord's armies. My mom said if we lost, we wouldn't be having a fair like this today. Also, true. The merchant said he'd buy accessories if they're in good condition. Hmm, maybe I should sell him this old pendant of mine. There's a race underway. Be quiet and watch if you want to try and guess the next winner. Talk to me once the runners have lined up over there after the race. We're not going to do that. Come one, come all to the Tent of Horrors. Spend your silver points here, put your bravery to the test. Let me check, you have one. Well, this is as good a place as any to spend them. How much does it cost? We're gonna need more than one, probably. That Cadillac's got promise. Alright, we're gonna avoid running into her for now. We have one silver point we can exchange. 10 silver points for 50 gold. We are going to quickly run over here and do a fight. My dear old wife made that lunch for me. Always the highlight of my day. Gives me that extra oomph when I'm starting to feel worn down. We're not going to eat that poor man's lunch. Although sometimes I have been known to do that. Go straight ahead if you want to try your hand against Luca's bipedal robot battler, Gatto. You can win silver points if you beat him. We're going to go do that really quickly. Just once, I think. They call me Gato or Gatto. I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 points. 
we will have absolutely no problem beating him up with a silver sword. He does counter on attack, though. Earned 10 experience points. Not very much experience. Oh no, I've lost and you have won. Here are your 15 points now, wasn't that fun? It might have been faster to kill Gatto for points now that I think about it, but whatever. How much... how many hit points do we have? We only have 55 hit points. We should quickly go rest. Oh, I gotta be careful. Uh, if you use B, then you can just walk. You still can't help but do that, but the girl says ouch. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Let's go talk to her. Uh-oh, my pendant. Oh no, my pendant, don't tell me I lost it. Okay, we've taken our time and talked to her. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. I know it doesn't look like much, but it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? Yeah, go for it. Thank you, you must live in this town. I came to see the fair. Awfully boring wandering around alone, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we walk together for a while? Wouldn't that be great? Sure. Yahoo, this will be fun. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's, uh, um... The fact that she's Nohoro no her no her own name very well is a little worrying, but you can change it. But Marl is fine. Or Marley. It's Marley, and you are Chrono. What a nice name. Well, pleased to meet you, Chrono. Come on, let's enjoy the fair. Sniff, sniffle, sob. My kit, or my kitty ran away. Oh no. Well, we can fix that problem. There's a very loud car driving by for no reason. Anyways, let's grab the cat. It will follow you as long as you get out of my way, old man. Seriously? You should have eaten your lunch, you're a jerk. Just gotta make sure the cat doesn't get caught on anything while you're walking. That is mostly the thing you need to do. You can also outdistance the cat if you run too fast, I think, or at least you used to be able to. You brought back my kitty, thank you. Chrono, you're so sweet. I know. Maybe I know it. I was worn out from running around, but watching this dance gave me energy again. A prehistoric dance, entrancing, isn't it? Catchy rhythm, huh? You can dance along too with a, Y, R, B, and L, B. There we go. There we go. We're dancing along. Alright. What's the other person say on the other side? Uh, we're gonna have to go around. La di da di da. Got spending money from the mayor. Can we go up and talk to people? Oh, prehistoric rhythm. Okay. Not super exciting. That cat has been saved. Luckily. Oh, ho, there's nothing like a good fair save. You heard the gossip? Yes. Oh, well, never you mind then. No. Well, just between us, I heard the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. Preparation's still underway. Enjoy yourself in the square for a while, and check back a little later. Fine. Uh, we actually need to go... get one more silver point, I think. One more silver point grouping. I think 30 is good enough. If not, we'll sell them, so it doesn't really matter. Bum, 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 bum. Marley or Marl does have. I think it's Marley, to be honest. I think she has healing. Or she doesn't yet because she has no talent points right now. Because she's level 1. And has not earned any TP. Which are technique points. Uh, does it show you how many tech points you need? Uh, so those are all ones we can learn for now. Yeah, we need nine more TP points to learn Aura. Aura is a healing magic spell. Damn it, old man, you keep stopping me from moving. It's very annoying. You're just kind of in the way all the time. You're kind of a jerk, old man. Alright, 
Let's go into this thing with the... We have 31 points. Let's go into here with... Marley. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine-tingling show is about to start. We will need to return here later, actually. How many silver points do you like to spend? I guess 10, because we only have 10. We need 40. Technically, I think we need 80. I'll try the 10 one first. I'm Biggs. I'm Wedge. I'm Yet. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention to who was who. Which one's Biggs? I wasn't really looking. It's you? No, you're Piet. No, we failed! We're gonna try again. We need to go beat up Gatto one more time. Or at least... At least one more time. We'll get him a couple more times. Maybe enough to give us some aura. Also, taking 12 damage a time is kind of painful. Hey, Marley, level up. Alright, you can actually go into your inventory before it gives you the points. I can't remember what you get for get doing the, uh... Good enough. For doing the House of Horrors. It's been a very long time since I've actually done that particular thing. Counterattack is very irritating. Stop it. Alright. How many is that now? Okay, so we were at 31, we spent 10, and then we've made 30, so we're at 51. Screw it. 51's good enough. Let's go take a look. Let's see if we even get anything good out of this. I'll pay more attention to who is who. We'll just do the 10 one first. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Ten points. Alrighty. So Biggs is on the left, Wedge is on the right, Piet's in the middle. Which one's Wedge? Oh. It's you? Oh, Piet was on the right. Damn it. Alright, we'll try one more time. It's hard to keep track of three people. I wonder if I can just use my fingers up against the screen to do it. Alright, let's try this out. This is gonna be insane. Actually, I only need to keep track of two. So Biggs is the one we're not paying attention to. Wedge is that one, and Piet's that one. Okay. Well, that's not fair. They walked in the same place. Now I have no idea which one's which. Up there in the same spot. Yay! We got a Piozo doll. I'll spruce up your room. Oh, this is- okay. I know what we need to do. We don't need this until later in the game. Let's move on. We've done a thing. We still can't go visit that yet. Can we leave? Actually, I know we can leave. Today is the thousandth anniversary of our Kingdom's Foundation. Enjoy the festivities. Surely- I surely would if I were your age. Let's go and press the princess. Wait. Nah, it doesn't matter. Spoilers. That was not a good show of force. Oh. I missed. Let's try one more time. That was worse. Got it the first time last time. There we go. One silver point. This kingdom's. Oh, we already read that. Alright. Big war. Got it. We already have heard that particular tale. I guess we can do the drinking thing. Drinking contest. Step right up. Press X as fast as you can. Ready, set, go. I hope this is X. Not bad. I put five silver points in your card. You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? Yes. Yes, I am. Can we talk to the old man? 
or not eating his lunch yet. Alright, well, let's wander around a little bit more, see what else there is to do. I honestly can't remember what the trigger is to go to see Marl. Or not Marley, we have Marley. Uh, to see Luca. We've kidnapped the princess. That girl, Luca, was over in the square going on to how she made a discovery. Let me read all this. I wonder if we can go to the castle. We're just gonna kidnap the princess and walk to the castle. Makes perfect sense. We can actually skip, I think, every one but one fight. No, we can definitely skip all the fights. Stop! Right there. Where are you going? Come on, let's check out the fair. Well, I wanted to see if I could... Oh, we hit the things. Oh, well, this is the only one we have to fight. I just gotta remember how to set up the actual... thing. I guess we can go talk to our mom. Bring a girl home. Meet my mom on the first day? Sounds like something that I would do, you know? First date, meet your parents. Ah, oh, stupid bird. Stupid, weird, semi-praying mantis type things. I don't even know what those would be classified as. A very odd enemy anyways. At least we're getting a little bit more gold though because we were a little bit low. We managed to make it through there without clipping anyone. Perfect. Now let's go back to the fair. There must be something we're missing at the fair. But first we should bring her home to meet the parents. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I've never seen you bring any girls around except for Luca. Who's this pretty new friend? Hi, Marley. Nice to meet you. Marley, you say? Have we met somewhere before? I could swear I recognize you. Perhaps it's just my imagination. Do you think we can go talk to the mayor? The mayor would surely know the princess, right? I'm just kind of curious. No, I don't want you to share your insight. You're, you're like the captain of the guard. How is no one calling me out for walking around with the princess of this kingdom? I'm just saying, someone would notice that. Heard Luca and her father put together a crazy invention. I just hope it doesn't blow up again like the last one. They ought to be ready by now. They were setting up at the far end of the square. Oh, I want to see it. Come on, Chrono. Okay. We can finally go see the device. Just a minute, I'm gonna get some candy. Alright. For this particular section, you have to be patient. If you try and leave when she hasn't made a decision, it goes against you poorly in court later. Excuse me, I'd like one of these. Sure, young miss. Thanks for waiting. Gotta be patient. Step right on up. Any with the time and courage. Our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. In 1080, that's very impressive. Simply hop up here. And you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. Oh dear, here we go. What does teleport mean? This contraption is supposed to transport objects in the blink of an eye. Well, young girl, it means it's going to disassemble your entire body atom by atom, shoot it through the air as a form of electricity, and then somehow recombine all of your energy into the appropriate matter pattern that it was before, effectively killing you and then making a new you at the other location. This is also why Star Trek teleporters are death machines. Luca invented this thing. Wonder what'll go wrong this time. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Chrono! I was wondering when you'd show up. No one wants to try my telepod. Would you be so kind? Oh, this'll be fun. I'll watch while you try it out. You mean you'll watch while I die and then a new version of me gets reassembled on the other end. Just hop up onto the left pod? I don't want to. This is the end of Chrono's life. System activated. Why are you hammering the machine while it's running? Initiating energy transfer. Ooh, 
amazing. Says the man who's now a energy replica of the previous character. That looks fun, I want to try it too. Huh? Chrono, when did you manage to pick up a cutie like her? It's alright, isn't it, Chrono? Just wait right here, don't run off on me. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this is as this vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. And dies. Hee <laughs> hee, alright, I'll be right back. You sure about this? There's still time to change your mind. No way, I'm not afraid. Okay, everyone, let's give her a great big hand while she teleports from the platform. System activated. More hammering. Not a good sign. Initiating energy transfer. It's never a good sound, either. What's happening, my pendant? It's... Huh? Luca, she's not reappearing. Well, alright, as you can see, the girl has vanished before your very eyes. Show's over, folks, move along. What just happened, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, that couldn't have been the telepod. The way that rift appeared, the way her pendant seemed to be reacting to it, something else must have caused it all. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Is there any way we can help her? That girl's face was so familiar, I know I've seen her somewhere. Well, well, it's the same thing. Let's do this thing. Chrono. Oh, you're going after her? What a fine lad. It's the only way. I don't know where that hole leads, but we got no other choice. Let's just hope it opens up again. Well, it's worth a shot. The pendant seems to be the key. So hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. System activated. Initiating energy transfer. Boost the power output. Roger. More! I need more power! Roger. Is the power from his hammer? There, I think we did it. And off we go. Good luck, Rono. I'll follow you as soon as I figure out what went wrong. I understand that, like, back in the day, that sort of wobbly pattern was for, like, a loading screen. But it's 2020. We could have a much quicker one. Alright, so we found some, what are effectively Zvarts from Dungeons & Dragons. What are they called in this world? I can't remember now. Blue Imps. They're just called Imps. We're gonna get to the area outside of the, uh, what is now the fair area in the appropriate timeline, but is currently a mountainous wilderness. I wonder if we can... No, there's no way. They're not close enough together to be cycloned. There's also a treasure chest over there on the left, if you notice. A potion, of course. Because if there's one thing I need, it's more potions. Power gloves, however, are good. Got sweet street strength. Yeah, we can just skip this fight, I think. I don't know if there's anything over there. No? Alright. See you guys. Alright. We are clearly in a different era. You can tell by the fact that it's all dark and gloomy. There's also a market here. You didn't just come all this way to look, did you? Surely there's something you'd like to buy. Kinda not really, actually. 
My thanks, do come again. So you mind to buy some weapons and join the fight against the Fiend Lord's army, have you? Wonderful. Remember to equip those weapons you buy. Not much meaning elsewise. So we're gonna save here. This is where we're calling it for now. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.